Hello, Princess, and good, well, night from SeaWorld Hello Scream. It is Thursday, and they are open tonight, so I decided to come and, well, definitely see the last house. Well, the last house that I haven't seen. I guess that's right. There's four here, so number four. Anyway, the park is uh, not very crowded, which is nice. I really like that. And I have, uh, well, okay, magic. Anyway, <laughs> I was hungry, so we'll tell you about that in a couple of minutes. The show is about to start. The show over by Wild Arctic and Siren Show. So I think that is the best time to go see Under the Ice, which is the house that I haven't seen before. And I am going to start making sense soon, I promise. This is a pumpkin smash. It is Sailor Jerry spiced rum, spice pumpkin puree, and triple sec with orange juice. Okay, it sounds sweet, but this apparently is the least sweet drink they have. And I, um, I don't do pumpkin spice, so this might be the most seasonal I get. So the pumpkin smash, oops, there it is, is pretty good because it actually tastes like pumpkin and it feels like it has real pumpkin, not like the fakey weirdo pumpkin spice that seems to be so prevalent during the holidays. So I am, I'm glad I got this. I shouldn't say so, so much. So let's go get some food because I am hungry. This is the monster mac and cheese with crispy bacon. I had the uh, same thing with brisket the last time, and it was a little more substantial. This one seems to be mac, mac and cheese seasoned with bacon, meaning the bacon's not really the feature, whereas in the brisket it was. Anyway, uh, let's give it a try. There is also a pesto version, which, no, but uh, the mac and cheese was, I don't know, uh, you know, satisfying in a very childhood way, so I'm hungry. I'm going to enjoy it. I do know that. The Monster Mac with bacon was, okay, well, I think I talked about the macaroni and cheese last time. It's good. Uh, the bacon was a nice uh, topping, but it didn't really make the dish. Here's the thing, uh, the brisket is much more substantial, so my, uh, I don't say problem, but they need to be at different price points. So the bacon and the pesto need to be at a lower price point than the brisket. And then the brisket should provide a nice, substantial amount of brisket. That's what I would do. Have him all three still, like eleven ninety-five or something like that. It's not, eh, it doesn't work out too well. So maybe make the brisket option, like a primary meal and then the other two snacks. Either way, um, it was okay, not the best. I wish I'd got the brisket, but I'm glad I tried the bacon. So now I know in a weird way, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna hang out here for a few minutes. Hopefully the line for the uh, Beneath the Ice will tie down a little bit now that the show is about to start. Then I go through there and then figure out what uh, to do for the rest of the night because I'm still hungry. All right, I get it. Halloween Horror Nights was way too crowded. And tonight, it is a Thursday still, uh, is uh, a little dead, shall we say. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No, it's great because the lines are very short. But I think the, uh, the actors would appreciate a little bit more to do but I'm okay, this is definitely for my speed. Finished the last house here at SeaWorld House of the Screen, uh, Beneath the Ice. I will say, on this one, I expected more because I know what's in there, and there's like a shipwreck and everything. I thought they would somehow incorporate that, uh, but it was uh, just a re-theming of the larger queue. Uh, it was very good, but I knew that there was a lot of existing sets that they could use, and I was expecting that. So, I don't know, I, maybe it's because all those are very close to the animals and they don't want to involve that, which is totally understandable, but um, no, no, that's about it. All right, I've done all four houses here at uh, SeaWorld Hallow Stream, so I think I'm gonna maybe get one more thing. Chicken fingers with some sauces. Um, not a whole lot of options, but eh, what the hell, I'm here. And uh, I'll just experience the night. Okay. And because, yeah, I still still need something to eat. No, this is not a new attraction at SeaWorld. I did not fall off a raft in Infinity Falls. I am uh, back home for a couple of days. I came to visit Grandma, and I am getting ready for my trip or cruise on 
Scarlet Lady, finally. Oh boy, yeah, we will talk a lot about that. But I wanted to real quick review the uh, three Halloween events that I went to this year. Uh, there's a lot more. Next year I will try to uh, do more of them. But this year I uh, only went to uh, Bush Gardens, Hollow Scream, SeaWorld, Hollow Scream, and uh, Universal Halloween Horde Nights. Yeah, no boobash. Uh, it was kind of pricey, and I've heard that it uh, wasn't that great, so decided to skip it. Anyway, all right, so um, I guess I'll just talk about them in order of my preference, really, and uh, that would mean first is Bush Gardens Hollow Scream. I was only there for one night. Uh, it was included with my pass, and not my, my annual pass. It was included with the Hollow Scream pass I got for SeaWorld, and it was a great event. It was um, kind of relaxed and chill, was not crowded at all. That That is the best park for this. Out of all three, uh, it's large, it's lush, there's plenty of places for the scare actors to hide, and uh, they really had the infrastructure to make a lot of very creepy audiences, audiences, uh, ambiances. And the show was great, the big show. So overall, uh, it was fantastic, very accessible. I only waited um, at most 20 minutes for one house. The rest of them were a lot less, so I was able to see all six houses in the evening that I was there, and I was only there for just the one evening, and I didn't have to stay until close either, uh, so that was great, and um, great rides are open, a lot of them too, so there was uh, no wait for Cheetah Hunt or Sand Serpent, all, not Sand Serpent, King, no, Cur C Cobra's Curse, <laughs> uh, all night, so I, I think I did two runs on each as a walk-on, uh, I didn't do anything else because I wanted to, I wanted to see the shows, so that worked out terrific, and overall, I had a great night. Uh, it was very, re very relaxed, very chill, and uh, very, very enjoyable. So the next one is uh, one second, Sea World. Um, this is their first year doing Howl Scream at Sea World, and they pulled it off. It was a really great event. Uh, that park is also really good for this. Uh, they do have the the lush walkways and everything, and a lot of open space, so they can cre create that really creepy like environment. And they used it. I would love them to see uh, a um, hmm, re-theming, an evening re-theming of Sesame Street Place. I think that would be fantastic, although there might be like, contractual issues that prevent them from doing that, which, okay, I get it, but wouldn't that be super fun to see, like, zombie Oscar and zombie Elmo? Uh, anyway, um, I went three times, and I did two houses, one house, one house. Uh, the first night, uh, the lines were pretty short. I don't think I waited very long. The second night, I waited almost an hour for that house. I, I thought about leaving and coming back, but I probably wouldn't have made it back. And then the third night, uh, I waited till the show. I did the ice, not the icebreaker house, the under, the ice, whatever, <laughs> the one in Wild Arctic. I waited till the show started, and um, the line was a lot shorter then. So that actually worked out really well. I think they could have done a better job with the food, but, um, you know, first time. Maybe just keep a couple of booths open from the food festival. That would work out really great. And uh, it was never really crowded on any night. And I did like that. So I, uh, I enjoyed my trips there. And uh, I do look forward to going back. And uh, I do expect something a little bit bigger from SeaWorld next year. And uh, I think this year was a success. So I hope it was a success. Uh, well, good for them. Oh, and Icebreaker will be open. So, hmm. And do Sesame Street. Haunted Sesame Street. That would be awesome. Finally, there's good old Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Florida. I have never been able to get into this event. A lot of people love it, and I understand why, but this was my third, maybe fourth time going, and I don't know, I just never leave there thinking, oh my god, this is so amazing. Now, uh, their houses are, you know, well, let's just say they are a movie production company, and they've been doing this for a long time. It's very popular, so they do have the resources to put into the houses, and it shows. So they are wonderful production quality. Uh, this year, I feel like they figured out how to keep the lines moving a lot faster, so that was great. But the event is so crowded, and, you know, Universal Studios is a, kind of a small park. It's kind of boxed in, so it gets very noisy, and, you know, there's people everywhere. There's a lot going on. So, I don't know, I, I just, it was a little, it was a lot <laughs> going on, and um, the thing is, it is so popular, oh, they sell a lot of tickets. I got there uh, just as the event opened, and I went to two houses immediately, I waited 35 minutes and 40 minutes, 
and then I wanted to get something to eat. By the time I was done with that, uh, I think you saw this, uh, the lines for the other houses were an hour or more, and I really didn't want to wait an hour, so, um, you know, I just uh, went around trying some foodstuffs. Told you about my plan for next year, and we'll see uh, how well that goes, but uh, it is a great event, and if you can only go to one in Orlando, I suppose you should try to go to that one, unless you do want something that's just a little calmer <laughs> and smaller and, uh, uh, well, it's also more affordable, then, yeah, definitely SeaWorld would be good, but Halloween Horror Nights is, you know, it is still the premiere event. I do get that completely, um, but, you know, for me this year, again, it just didn't, I don't know, did not wow me. I will try to do better next year and uh, just approach it a little bit differently, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, okay, well, that's it. My favorite was Bush Gardens, then SeaWorld, and then finally Universal, so... I look forward to trying them again next year, but um, I do look forward to trying some more of the houses in the area. Well, okay, so I guess back to SeaWorld for, well, for the end of the evening, I think it was about this time. Time to depart our quick trip here to SeaWorld Hollow Stream. Got my one house in and tried a different flavor or version of the mac and cheese and a very good pumpkin-based cocktail. So that was actually quite nice and while uh, this is a kind of an extreme difference from Halloween Horror Nights it is very quiet I do prefer this I well I did not ride Infinity Falls because I didn't want to get wet I did not ride Mako because I forgot and wore a hat and it's easier with a headband but I can come back just well well okay I got lost saying this tonight is over I did not ride any rides and I thought about trying the chicken tenders, but they actually, well, there probably wasn't anything special about them, so I decided to pass. And that is actually a good reason to be thankful for my problems. 